how to get into persona with the play order and just what else you, you can should and shouldn't do simply let's get into it persona is a jrpg with a turn-based theme where you command a party in battle with magical spirits based off gods thieves or even japanese deities with various persona protagonists persona is a game based off of your choices and who you make the protagonist be as you follow on a deep or dark story with interesting characters and other characters you can befriend now simply let's start off with it I'll say this simply, you can play the first two Persona games as I haven't finished them myself and they aren't relevant to future games or even referenced against Persona 2. In Persona 1, you play as a boy, canonically named Naya Tudu, and his friends when you all play a game that leads to you getting the ability of a Persona. You and your friends are guided under a big boss by the name Philemon. I have never finished Persona 1 so that's all I know. I can't say if it's worth or worth not playing so yeah. Persona 2. In Persona 2, you play as another boy, canonically named Tatsuya Su, as you and your friends enter the Joker game, which has nothing to do with this Joker by the way, and you all are given a Persona when playing the Joker game, and your main objective is to deal with Joker due to him turning rumors into reality. Now I haven't finished Persona 2, but I can say that this is supposedly the darkest game in the series, multiple of my friends who have played this game admit it is. If you plan on emulating this, play the PSP version due to it having new music and just overall better gameplay. This game has a sequel, Persona to Eternal Punishment, where you play as Maya. That's all I know about the sequel. In Persona 3, you play as a blue haired boy, canonically named Makoto Yuki, as you're dealing with the situation known as Tartarus. At 12 a.m., there's an extra hour, as normally human beings don't know this. You and your friends don't really like each other or know each other like that, but you're all forced to work with one another, which makes this the most saddest and emotional one. I've played this one now, and out of all the versions you can play, I'd say go for Reload. It is FBS and the original Persona 3 with some things from Portable. Just know you have to pay $35 for a DLC they said wasn't going to be in the game in general. This is definitely worth playing though. Persona 3 Portable. Now listen, Persona 3 Portable is just Persona 3 but a remake for the PSP. But there is something from this game. The Fem C route or Katone Shiomi, the female protagonist, which makes this entire game deserve a spot. It's because Katone is so unique. She isn't a reskin. She has her own story, an extra story, multiple changes in her dialogue, and even new relationship possibilities, which make her so cool. Not to mention her persona is different as well, but if you don't like the 2D screen, you can always play her mod on Reload and support that. In Persona 4 Golden, you play as a white-haired boy, canonically named Yu Narukami, whose parents had to send him to live with his uncle due to their business trip. But terrible things unfold as Yu was there. People are being murdered and hung on buildings in a disturbing way. As no one can tell how the people are hung against the posts and buildings, which leads you and his friends to going into another world to solve the murders and find the murderer. Persona 4 Golden brings in a new voice for Chihei and a new character and story. Not to mention this game has the most social links, so it'll be a while to know all the characters. I also believe this game has the best soundtrack and the best team due to their moments. This game is very funny and comforting. Persona 4 is really worth playing if you want to enjoy this heavily and just want to smile. In Persona 5, you can play as Joker, canonically known as Renamamiya, who had been falsely accused of harming a man when he was forcing himself onto a woman, as Ren was sued and sent to another city, Tokyo. Due to being on probation, as he's been watched by a family friend, Ren eventually gets into more trouble when encountering a classmate, which shows him another world. Persona 5 has the most interesting theme in my opinion, with great memories and even a new story with a character by the name Kasumi. Please get Royal, because the original Persona 5 feels unfinished without her. Also, this game has the best exploration and mechanics. Persona 5 is enjoyable as well, especially if it will be your first Persona game. I played this one first and I'm still in love with it to this day. Now let's talk about the spinoffs. Aegis First Mission. In short, this is just a prologue to Persona 3, with Aegis taking place a decade before. I haven't got my hands on it, but you can play it. It isn't necessary. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. P4A is a 2D fighter made by the same people who make Guilty Gear, with a new story where the characters of Persona 3 return and meet the cast of Persona 4. This game is canon as well, and amazing, with a new soundtrack. I say, give it a chance, it is very worth it. Plus the servers are dead, if, any if anyone wants to play, just let me know. Persona Q. Persona Q is a crossover between Persona 4 and 3 again, but with the cast of 3 at their prime, well, at the age they were during the events of Persona 3. Watch your favorite characters meet, which is really cool. This game is a first person dungeon crawler, though just know that. This game is worth playing, it's canon, but it, but it isn't necessary, everyone forgets the situation in the end.
Persona 4 Dancing. P4D is simply a dancing game made for the Vita with new models and renders for the cast of Persona 4. Now this wasn't a cash grab, as it was really cool seeing them dance. Even Tanaka was in the game. This game is worth playing when you still want to play Persona. In reality, it isn't worth really playing playing, but it's just fun to play when you got nothing else to do. Persona 3 and 5 dancing. Now these are cash grabs. There is no big plot in this like in Persona 4 dancing. The entire purpose of dancing is because the Velvet siblings made a deal to see which cast could dance better. Persona 3 or 5, so they all dance. Yeah. Persona Q2. This game is a lot better than the first one, actually taking the first person dungeon crawling, but letting you see the characters when they use their abilities, and the game brings in the cast of Persona 5 with Joker, so the party gets even crazier. You can even see your favorite two protagonists fight. This game also brings in Katone from Persona 3 Portable, which is cool as well, finally, but this game doesn't have a dub, which really, really sucks. Yeah, Persona 5 Strikers. Now this is easily the best spinoff with hack and slash elements and even new characters. Everyone returns for the fun as this game was really unique and a twist on Persona that I'm assuming someone had dreamed of. This is worth playing and I believe you should really play this. Persona 5 Tactica. Now this spinoff takes place in between Persona 5 Royal at one of the last few palaces and they remember everything that happens after this. This one is like a tactical game, hence the name. Similar to Fire Emblem with new characters, art style, and story, I personally like it. I say go for it if you're interested in these type of games. It's unique and creative, but they don't reference it in the future games, because you know why. Now that's all the games. All of them are canon, by the way, and all the routes are. Not the romance ones, okay? I say go for them. Now let's talk media. Persona 3 manga is worth reading, but the ending has changed. Persona 4 and Arena manga are good with no changes. Persona 5 manga is terrible that's still being released. Memento's mission is actually really good. Never read these other mangas or the webtoon. The Persona 4 anime is amazing. This anime sucks as it just skips through days without dubbing. This anime is so terrible and it's not a joke. This anime is good from the clips I've seen, giving character to the main character, but sadly it did bad in sales as there are four movies that are worth watching. So go do that. Why does this anime even exist? <laughs> Don't even watch it. Forget about it. I po you probably didn't even know it exists until now. And that's the series, so quickly don't forget to give me a sub. I plan to hit 1k before the year ends. Thanks for watching. If you like these and want more of my persona stuff just let me know let me know what you want me to review talk about debate or just you know do all right peace <laughs>